Welcome back to The Nightstand, the nightly talk show that discusses management strategies with top business leaders and entrepreneurs to help you go further, faster in business. I am your host, Megan. Tonight we're continuing with our special guest, Jim Alley, who is the current CEO of the booming business, Tom's. Jim is here to discuss his influence on the current business scene and how he turned his philanthropy work into a million dollar success. Please help us welcome Jim Allen. It's great to be here, Megan. Thank Thanks you. Thanks for joining us. To get us started, in a previous interview, the founder of Tom said that he had looked long and hard for a CEO who shared his values. What core values do you believe you embody to be offered this position? So I feel some of the values that I embodied were my leadership through listening. Listening plays a big part in any type of management position. Actively listening and being able to empathize with your uh, fellow associates and employees is crucial to being able to communicate with them and trying to find a way to better your company. Also, my diversity through experience working with different companies and internationally as well has given me a lot of insight in how to run Tom's and where to take it in the future as well. So what have you learned from your experience at T-Mobile and Starbucks that you've applied to Tom's? So my time with Starbucks and T-Mobile, while some would say it was rather short-lived, I feel that I have learned to recruit predictable behavior, find people that can relay what I believe in and find a way to demonstrate things that I would uphold myself. So you also need to understand cultural difference as far as like a, a global company. Different cultures respond to different stimuli differently. So however I could cross my arms or interact differently with you or different facial expressions, they're interpreted differently. So you have to understand that and just accept that and try and find a way to just blanket yourself. So that way you can be uniform across the board for that. To continue, what were some of the deciding factors to leave your position at Starbucks for your new position at Tom's? So part of my decision to leave Starbucks and T-Mobile and all the other companies was my decision to try and find a, a more fulfilling career, something where I can contribute to charity more and still have some type of job and stay active. So that's kind of what Tom's provided me was a charitable contribution. So I've also noticed that your leadership and your roles are completely different when all your employees seem to follow that same mission and they believe in it too. Also my love for coffee, leaving Starbucks I couldn't just leave it at that, but Tom's actually does have coffee as well through their Tom's Roast where they provide drinking water to those that buy each bag of coffee. So that's another way to contribute charitably as well. A question I'd like to end on is how do you think your ethical behavior and your moral intensity contribute to your success. So like I mentioned earlier, part of what I learned, um, ethics vary from culture to culture. Like it's, it's different with everybody. So there's no blanket approach on how you handle a situation. I will say that I do find like a utilitarian approach to be the most universal in the fact that I can tailor it to fit more people. But again, there is no blanket approach and that you have to understand that cultural difference happen and you have to just be able to accept that. So I feel that that's what moral intensity and ethics have played into my career thus far. And with that, we're going to wrap things up tonight. Thank you so much, Jim, for joining us. Your knowledge and your insight is much appreciated. My pleasure. I'm glad to be here. And to those who tuned in tonight, don't forget to watch tomorrow's episode where we continue to discuss managerial insights to help your business go further, faster.